There's so many amazing things we can do in Create Studio, but the actions are limited to what they provide for us. So sometimes we need to use different effects to create what we want. In this case, Lenka walking up the stairs and waving. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. And I just put another character outside so it wasn't too bland. Um, not too hard. So do this along with me and then you'll be able to have a project. So grab, go to your backgrounds and you can search bus and you will find the where did I scroll by it like I always do? Yep, I always go too fast. So here is the bus stop at night. And why don't we, for this one, we can increase the size a little bit because we don't need all that outside stuff. And we can position it here and then we can detach the mask and just crop it a little bit. I'm going to hold my space key down and then move my project up and I can get rid of some of the bottom hold my space key, go down. You can just click on this, but I use the shortcut of holding my, whoop, holding my um, space bar down and moving it. Then I have to let go and then I can crop that. I'm going to attach the mask and hit F on my keyboard so now it's centered. I didn't crop that well enough, so I am going to do that now and attach it again. All right, let's grab Lenka. I am gonna size her when she's outside of the, the um, bus stop. And I'm going to have walking, and then I'm going to add waving. And what I did is I clicked on waving and I disabled the start and the end for walking. Then I clicked on waving and I disabled the beginning. Hold on, I, this start, I disabled start. So now I have Lenka walking and then waving. But clearly we don't want her walking up at a side view and she's a little tall. So I'm going to leave her outside so I can position her in the size that I want her to end up in and the position I want her to be. I'm not gonna worry about that right now because that's going to not be there. I'm gonna mask her. So here we have her walking and waving, but we need to rotate her. So I'm going to click, well, I'm already clicked on Lenka. I'm going to go on rotate and I am just going to rotate her so she's walking forward. Click on rotate to stop. Now let's see how that looks. And then she's turning and that we don't want. We want her to stay face forward. So right here, I'm going to click and add an animation right here. I'm going to do character view and I played with different easings. I'm still going to use linear, even though that's always what I use. I'm going to go to the end and I'm just going to click on reset view. I don't have to turn her and rotate her. I can just do reset view. Now she walks up and she waves. But if you look at her, she turns a little before she waves. So we need to just fix where our keyframe is. Let's see, just by, almost got it, but see how she's turning just a bit there. So I'm gonna move that just a little bit more. And now she didn't turn. She did a little hiccup at the end here. Maybe that's not too bad, let's see. No, she looks fine, it was because we were so blown up. Um, if you find that's a problem, you can always enable start again, but I found that that had, oh, maybe that still will work. So you're just gonna play around with that. When I was doing it, I felt like I had to disable it, but maybe not. So I'm going to leave it enabled 
and we'll see how it looks at the end. All right, now we have her walking and waving. So I am going to click on her. If I'm not on her, I'm just gonna click on her, right click and group, or I can do my Command G. And the reason I wanna do that is because I have already animated her right here with the walking and the orientation. If now I need to um, animate her walking up the stairs. If I don't group Blanca, it will mess up those animations. So what I'm going to do is I am going to animate her, add an animation of linear position and scale and right I guess I actually timed it pretty good I think this will be the end when she reaches the full um, dimension there and at the beginning I'm going to go to properties to animate this keyframe I'm going to go to properties and I am just going to scale her down you can also move her lower but I'll show you that after because we may not need it but let's see she's walking up and waving but now we have her outside we don't want her outside of the train station so I'm going to add a rectangle as a mask and I'm not going to worry about the sides and the top the important part is that the bottom of the mask go at the bottom uh, right here where the window stops. Because she's not doing anything outside or on the top, I'm not going to worry about where those begin and end. Now before I mask this, I also need to group Lenka here. If I don't group her here, I'm going to lose those animations. So I'm just going to click on Lenka and again, group her. Then I'm gonna move my mask back. And then I'm gonna select the mask and Lenka. Right click, mask. And let's see how that might need to be altered a little bit here. So I'm gonna click on the masked group, detach the mask. I'm doing my space key and I need to find the, the node right over here. So I may have blown in too much. I need to find this so I can move this down to match the black line. Attach the mask again and let's see. And she's waving. She might be a little tall. I don't know. We could also make her smaller if we want. I think mine was a little bit lower. Oh, I know why because I was blown. I had this blown out to the full size and we moved in on this one. But there's a quick and easy way that you can animate the character to walk up the stairs. And I don't think we really need to move her down. It looks okay, but if you want to, I would just go into the group, then go back into her group. Oh no, I would stay on the animation group. I would click on the beginning animation because that's where we did the position and scale. And then you can just move her down. I'm gonna hold my shift and my down arrow key. And let's see if that makes a difference. That might. So you can always move her down a little bit more. I'm going to undo it with Command Z and see if it made a difference. But those are different ways that you can position and scale to create the illusion of walking upstairs in a bus stop. I hope that helped.